Hi, Becky Spieth, direct sales specialist in the Christian Direct Seller. I'm gonna come clean on something. The other day I had an extremely tough day and usually I do quite well with navigating through things and keeping my eyes on the Lord and just kind of keeping my focus forward. But after several things piled on top of me, I had to take a moment. And in that moment, I had to feel what was going on and then take a breath. You know, that's really hard for me. I'm usually able to like navigate my narrows, keep going full speed ahead, and then it dawned on me. If I do, I'll be going full speed ahead with little or no impact, increase my frustration, and spend a whole lot more time than it would really take if I was rested. So I did it. I took a breath and acted for rest. Why was this so hard? Because I had to take off my Superwoman cape, put my uh, Wonder Woman costume out in the hangar, and I had to get real. I had to get real with myself. You know, I was so on fire preparing for my big birthday announcement for you guys that when family and health things came up, I didn't want to have to deal with them. I wanted to move from fighting the battle into the winner's circle. But I came to the realization that I had to slow down to speed up. Even just saying that makes me cringe. It goes against everything in my nature. However, every time I've done this, the impact has been so incredible. The memories of all the times that I had taken the time to slow down to speed up began to flood into my mind. And this was particularly true in regards to organization. You know, I was either one extreme or completely the other. My office was either a wreck Although I knew what was in my filing system because it was the RPI method, the rapid pile method, and I knew what was in each pile, no one else did, and I spent more than necessary time looking for things. Or it had to be perfect in order for me to do any work. I also found this for my family and home, but you know, I'm going to talk to you about that in next week's video. I'm going to help you with some fun practical tips for being an entrepreneur working from home with a family. I also homeschooled, so that added another element into the mix, and we'll be covering some of that. You know, one of the greatest dangers I see as I work with consultants all the way through top level leaders and with brand new entrepreneurs is that many times we don't know what we don't know. And we're so filled with passion and a desire for success that somewhere between wanting to do it excellently and perfectionism is that we go into an all or nothing mentality. What I mean by this is that if everything isn't just so, I can't do anything because I have things in such a disarray, I'll practically kill myself to accomplish it. And in both cases, you need to watch for overwhelm because trust me, he's lurking right around the corner. Let me give you some tips that worked for me in regards to organization, which by the way is a tiny portion, itsy bitsy, of what I'm gonna be announcing or might be announcing on my birthday, wink wink. And uh, there's so much more. But anyways, let's get back to the topic of organization. Realize that you need to be organized enough to get enough results at whatever you're doing. So don't go crazy swinging the pendulum from one, pendulum from one direction to the other. You know, if you get too crazy with this, you might find yourself always getting ready to get ready to get ready. Been there before? Or maybe on the other side, that you spend all your time organizing, you don't do any income producing activities. You know, preparing for a business or organizing a business isn't really having a business at all. Wouldn't you agree? Or the other danger is that things are in such a disarray or cluttered that you haven't seen your desktop in years. Thinking that you might need that paper someday, right? Trust me, with modern technology, you'll be able to find it. That's what Google was invented for, right? <laughs> so a quick tip for this, and so that your creativity will really dramatically increase, is to grab a clear tote, because I'm such a visual person, and take everything off your desk. Label the tote with the date and then store it out of sight, preferably inside of your garage. If you do happen to need something, you know exactly where to find it. And if you haven't touched the tote in like six to 12 months, empty the tote into the dumpster. Next, don't keep anything on your desk unless you use it absolutely every day. Yes, I said daily. So no staplers, paper clips, paper punches, additional paper, stationery, anything. Only keep what you use daily. So your computer, a notepad, pen, phone, that kind of thing. Also have a place for everything and everything in its place. Now I love using the plastic cart with the drawers in them that pull out and then put subdividers or boxes inside of those drawers. 
Now, some direct selling companies have amazing bins and bags for this as well, and many of their consultants also offer the service of coming to your home and helping you pick out the items that you need in order to organize your space as well. Now, if you're one of these companies, this is a great incentive to use to book parties with hosts. Just saying. Make sure that you label everything, whether it's with printed labels, embroidery, or a Sharpie marker, because this is going to make it much easier. I even like to color code them, but that's because I'm really visual, like I mentioned earlier. You also want to make sure that you're grouping like things together. For example, keep all your printed pieces, including your catalogs, brochures, host flyers, etc., all together. Keep all your packets that have been created together. Put your training binders alphabetized by topic. You know, you get the idea. But keep in mind to do this according to your workflow in your office. Now, you can start this with writing each task and duty on a sticky note for easy re easier repositioning and then putting them in order of the flow per process, task, or duty. Now, remember, we're not looking for perfectionism, but for enough. As you get things under control, set your timer for 15 minutes each day and tighten up the organization a little bit. So, join me in hanging up the Wonder Woman costume and get organized enough. Watch your inbox on Tuesday, February 17th for my big birthday announcement. And I'm so excited. I can hardly wait to share it with you guys. Also wanted to invite anyone within driving distance to San Antonio to join our live mastermind starting in March. Go to the website or back to the newsletter for more details. It's going to be so incredible because I'm going to be there in person, live, facilitating with you. The group's going to have like-minded, committed direct sellers, and I'm going to be blending in some professional coaching, some top-level facilitation, as well as accountability, and that's going to pack a power-packed 90 minutes that's going to propel your business forward in a way like nothing else can. Masterminding is amazing. This is going to give you the opportunity to join forces and mastermind with a unique group of those like-minded individuals who are focused on taking results in every area of their lives to a new level, like you. Having the support and ideas from other focused and driven people really allows us to see things differently and to get a new perspective on goals and action plans. This method is tested and proven and provides a foundation for lively discussion, personal growth, and business success. You know, with over 20 years of experience as a leader, facilitator, and coach, I promise to add a dimension that's going to keep the group on track, challenge you and the other participants, and bring out the best in you. It's going to be awesome. Now, don't forget to join me next week as I share more tips for work-at-home entrepreneurs in regards to organization, your business, and your family. Now, I can't wait to uh, go hang these up. Aren't you glad we don't really need these? Um, you know, Wonder Woman, Superwoman, none of those. I'll see you next week. Take care and God bless you.